In this video, I am going to solve the problem 26 from chapter 26. A small but measurable current of 1.2 multiplied 10 power minus 10 ampere exists in the copper wire whose diameter is 3 millimeter. The number of charge carriers per unit volume is 8.49 multiplied 10 power 28 per meter cube. Assuming the current is uniform, calculate the current density and the electron drift speed. So here we have to answer for these two questions. In the first part, we are going to calculate the value of current density and in the second part, we are going to find the value of the electrons drift speed. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to write the given first and after that, we will just go for finding the value of current density as well as the drift speed of the electron. So what is given in the question? In this question, they gave the information about the current. So what's the value of the current here? That current takes the value here as 1.2 multiply 10 power minus 10 ampere. And the wire is a copper wire and its diameter value is given, which is 3 millimeter. If you converted this millimeter to meter, we have to multiply with 10 power minus 3 meter. And also the number of the conduction electron. That means here the charge carrier means the number of conduction electron per cubic meter. So let's we take that as small n. So in per cubic meter, how many conduction electrons are there? 8.49 multiply 10 power 28 conduction electrons are there, right? So by using all these, we are going to find the answer for the current density as well as the electrons drift speed. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to calculate the area because here the diameter of the copper wire is given. By using the diameter, we can easily calculate the area of the cross-sectional. So that means the cross-sectional area, we can easily find by using the value of the diameter. So if you see the cross-sectional area of the wire, it looks like an area of the circle which takes the formula pi r squared. And here I'm going to use the value of the diameter. As we know, the radius which is equal to the diameter over 2. Therefore, r squared which is equal to diameter squared over 4. So I'm going to take this value. I'm going to substitute here. So by that, the formula will become as pi multiplied by d square over 4 and I am going to substitute the value here pi takes the value of 3.14 multiply the diameter here is 3 multiply 10 power minus 3 the whole square over 4 so if you calculate we will get the information about that the cross sectional area of the copper wire so we got the answer for the area here as 7.07 multiply 10 power minus 6 meter square. Now I'm going to find the answer for the first question. In the first question, we have to calculate the value of the current density. So in theory, we studied the formula for the current density as J is equal to the current over area. So here the current value already given here as 1.2 multiply 10 power minus 10. And we already calculated the area by using the current as well as the area, we can easily find the answer for the current density. Now I'm going to substitute the value of the current here as 1.2 multiply 10 power minus 10 over the area here as 7.07 multiply 10 power minus 6. So here I got the answer for the current density as J is equal to 1.70 multiply 10 power minus 5 and the unit here is the unit for the current here is ampere and the unit for the area is meter square so the unit for the current density is ampere per meter square so this is the answer for the first question now we have to move to the second question in the second part we are going to calculate the drift speed of the electron as we know the formula for the current density we know the relation between the current density and the drift speed is given by the rule the current density which is equal to n multiplied by charge multiplied by 
the drift speed of the electron. This is the relation between the current density as well as the drift speed. So here, for finding the value of the drift speed, I'm going to use this rule. So I have to rearrange this equation in terms of the drift speed. Therefore, this equation will modify it as the drift speed of the electron, which is equal to the current density divided by the number of the charge carriers multiplied by the charge value of the electron. So here, I'm going to take the value, the magnitude of the charge of the electron. So I'm going to substitute the value now, J value. I'm going to take it from the first part. So here we got the value of the J as 1.7 multiply 10 power minus five over the charge carrier value. Let's we just go back to see the value of the charge carrier. So here, the number of charge carriers per, U, per cubic meter here mentioned as 8.49 multiply 10 power 28. So I have to substitute the value here as 1 point, sorry, 8.49 multiply 10 power 28. And the value of the charge is 1.6 multiply 10 power minus 19. So when you calculate this, we will get the answer for the drift speed of the electron as 1.25 multiply 10 power minus 15 meter per second. So this is the answer for the second question. That's it. Thank you.